Well, it's time for another PTFS update, and this one is Fuego. We have two new remodels, a brand new secret plane, and so much more. So I'm uh, Mr. Bolsman, and you know what? Let's get started with the brand new Boeing 737. So the 737 has seen a decent makeover with upgraded engines, some wing exit decals, and overall is your usual 737 fuselage. There are a total of 29 liveries, some of which like Aero Zealand, Air Dingus, and Danam having no wingtips, while airlines like Northeast, Reunited, and KLN have having the extra tidbit. On select libraries like the Binary one, retractable air stats come like, like this to walk up on. It's a kind of cool small feature and it does fit the time period on when such airline flew the 737. Inside is your standard 737 cabin, but if we go ahead and come to the cockpit, you have your Boeing yoke, warning light, and large panels. The 737 also has three variants with of course the freighter 737 BCF version with DHL and TEDx liveries. This cargo aircraft also comes with a large open roll side door to load the packages brittle and stiff alike. Then, the C-40 is the U.S. Air Force 737 and is used for the cabinet and Congress transport. With the powder boost striping and obvious U.S. emblems on delivery, we have this small 2-1 recliner seat set up in the front, and then at the back, we got ourselves some small tables for both 2 and 4. And by the way, this is part of the Presidential Aircraft Game Pass alongside the VH-92 and Air Force One, so it is a huge dub for holders of the ever-growing pass. And the final variant is the P-8 Poseidon for the U.S. Navy. Painted in this monotone gray livery and cool emblems like this bird over here on the tail, there's this small camera and weather detector up in the front. The interior holds some different things like the seat looking out at the window, rear facing seats, and a large computer panels for monitoring. In the back, I'm not really sure what these are, so if you do know, let me know in the comments below, and some small shelves. You can go ahead and spawn this plane via the modern military section. Now if you thought that was really good, let's just move on to our next thing, the new Airbus A380 remodel. Massive engines, massive fuselage, love the gear, and the small wingtips are on a whole different level. But inside, well... Let me go ahead and show you around. The cockpit has the capacity of three seats, two for the pilots and one jumper in the back. Huge screens in the front and on the side, minute detail on the console here, and of course the yoke is great. The first level of the cabin holds all economy in a 232 configuration which showcases the sheer size of the Super Jumbo. What about we go upstairs? We start off with our first class suite, then the business class seats, and finally it's party in the back because this is the in-flight bar. There's a marble top surface which has some delicacy on top of it, like cakes and oranges, this backdrop of glasses, and a selection of soft drinks like Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Witch's Brew, and Bloxy Cola. We even have this small ice metal bucket of it too right here. All which is topped off with bright lights in the oval shape, TV in the back, and some lounge seating like this glass table for two. If you'd like to walk to Poverty Land downstairs, just go ahead, go down this spiral staircase here in the back, and you go ahead and get spitted out back into economy. This does vary though by livery, as this is the Emirates design. The Tar one looks like this with this swirly design with couches, and some, like Britain Airways, have none at all. Just something to think about. Now our next addition is top secret. This is the tiny Caprona Stipa, an experimental aircraft widely known for this unorthodox large prop in the middle of the fuselage and opens up to the rear. It's quite colorful too, with Italian green, white, and red on the tail, some cream in the middle, and royal blue up front. The cockpit is quite basic with some indicators and a single ear yoke. But just like Dare's creation and the UFO, you can't spawn it at your usual plane spawner. It's somewhere hidden on the map. If you're really lazy, um, spoil the vise if you just want to find it yourself, it's on the island of a Renji, where we just go ahead and fly over here from Tokyo to the river near the large bridge and find this small cave. Once inside, you'll get the badge called Find That I Can't Put The Name As It's Blocked. That, that, yeah, that's lengthy. Spawn the bad boy in and take off within this sketchy hole in the rocky bank. And finally, the radar has been updated to have this arrow decal pointing at the direction you're going. So if I were to rotate like this and move around at this, you can see it correlates very well. So yeah, there's the brand new PTFS update. I hope you enjoyed the update showcase. If you did, please see subscribing. But what are you waiting for? Go watch another video or play the update. I'm Mr. Wilson, and as always, take flight. See ya.